Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Science Back Fitness. This is Ryan with Fluid Health. Today we're going to talk about the gait. Basically, gait is locomotion, ambulatory patterns that we walk, jog, or run. And we model our movement patterns around these gait cycles or these uh, stages of the gait cycle. So when you think about movement, it's basically an orchestra of different joint contractures. So basically, the joints have to move into a position and they stack on each other. So that's called joint coupling. And that joint coupling is regulated by the nervous system and the muscle recruitment patterns that supports the joint's position. Now, if they're properly positioned, it's called a, a neutral carrying angle. That means you're putting the least wear and tear on the cycle. So what we do is we regulate movement through the eight stages of the gait cycle, and we look at the joint contractures, and if they're properly positioned, and are you using the local muscles uh, properly, and is the whole symphony of movement being maintained through the central nervous system. And if it's done well, well, you're said to have good biomechanics. So really the main goal for today is to let you guys know that there's a process to this for being able to establish efficiency for functional patterns. And this is again, relative to walking. And that's uh, one of the most important functional patterns that we have because got to get places, right? So again, there's eight stages and we want to demonstrate that. We've got a special guest here today, Penny. She's going to show us how to do this. So I'm going to bring it over to Penny. <laughs> Benny, thank you for being a helper today. So she's gonna show us the eight stages. So she's just basically gonna step forward and place her foot on the ground, and that's considered heel strike. So that's the first stage. You accept load into the next stage. So the knee is gonna buckle into flexion. You're gonna pull back through the heel. So you're gonna see ankle glide. You're gonna see knee flexion translate forward. You're gonna see the hip is gonna stay under her center of gravity, or her center of gravity is gonna stay under her canister. Now she's gonna go from load acceptance, the second stage, to mid stance. So the weight is directly on top of her leg. So now she's gonna transition from that stance side into propulsion. So now she's gonna step through and her heel's gonna come off. So that's the next stage, heel off. Now again, we're still tracking on that back right leg. So it's all the same side or same hemisphere. Now that the heel is off on the back right leg, so the heel's gotta be off, then she's gonna to go to toe off. So then the toe comes off, off the ground on the back right, there you go, Penny. So now she's in initial swing. Now she's gonna swing that tibia past her other tibia, and then that's gonna be mid swing. And then as the tibia glides past the tibia on the ground, she's now in terminal swing, and now she's gonna hit the ground again and start the cycle over, okay? That's hard to do it that slowly. <laughs> I know, all right. So those are the eight stages. So what we do is we look at the whole body from the head down to the ankles and the toes and we say, well, where are the joints? Where are they positioned? And are the muscles contracting at the right time sequence? Now, if one of the muscles is off, it can ripple through the whole structure. So if you have an issue on the foot, it can affect the shoulder. If the shoulder is off, it can affect the foot. So again, we want to look at it globally, the interdependencies of these relationships and recognize how one thing could lead to another or it could limit your, your capacity for performance, or worse yet, it could be contributing to the injury patterns that you're seeing all the time. So we wanna teach you guys to be aware of this stuff, acknowledge what is the real problem, and then uh, be more specific about the solution. So if you want more information on any of this stuff, contact us at admin at fluidhealthandfitness.com, or once again, it's Ryan with Fluid Health, reminding, your body is to reminding you that your body is designed to move, so stay in motion, and we'll see you tomorrow for another episode.